All right, so first up, what we're gonna do is cut into this cabbage. Um, I'm gonna cut that core out of here and hopefully not cut myself. Cause this is a Let's try this paring knife, which is equally sharp. Um, I just wanna get right in to the core here and cut around. Let me see what I'm doing. Basically going around. This is a good looking cabbage. I get my cabbage at Aldi's locally. And I also get, um, I found this one at Walmart actually. It looks really good. The leaves look humongo. So, all right. So here's what I did. I ended up just cutting the top off <laughs> and then the core somewhat came off. So this is going to be perfect because now I can just kind of loosen this up a bit. So what's going to happen is I'm going to actually go steam this. And supposedly that's supposed to help it easy, make it easier to peel the leaves off. So I went ahead and I put about, I don't know, there's probably about six or seven cups of water in there. Just enough, uh, bring it to a boil and set that cabbage down in. I'm gonna put the lid on it. I didn't use the steamer basket or anything uh, just because I think this will work just fine. So I'm gonna leave that for a couple of minutes and keep checking on it. As that gets steamed, the cabbage is supposed to turn a really pretty color. Any time, did you think I'd do a recipe not using my power pressure cooker? <laughs> I'm gonna loosen the lid here and let this sit. And I went ahead and I cooked up some rice. Oh, this looks really good, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and while the cabbage is steaming, I'm gonna mix up the cabbage roll filling. All right, so what I'm gonna do here um, for this recipe, I'm gonna use celery. I'm gonna go ahead and dice this up because I love celery. I've got lots of it. I've always got celery. And instead of green peppers, which most of the recipes you find online will use green peppers, I always pick up a bag of these mini peppers at the grocery store just because um, I don't know, they seem to always have them and they store real easy and we just love them here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these instead of the green pepper, which they basically taste the same. I think these taste actually a little sweeter. And first off, I need to chop up this onion nice and small and saute it. All right, so back to the power pressure cooker. I put about a tablespoon of oil in there. I'm gonna go ahead and saute my onions and the peppers. Be careful adding this. I'm actually gonna do the onions first, um, just cause I want the peppers just to be a little sauteed, not quite as much as the onion. So we're just gonna go ahead and put those in there. You can also add your garlic at this time. Um, oh, I gotta show you this new garlic I'm trying out. I haven't even Googled it yet to see what it was. I've never seen this garlic before. It's a black garlic. And I used it yesterday in my roast beef recipe, and it was super yummy. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sauteing this a bit. Get these nice and translucent. Um, we can put that garlic in. All right, so here it is. It's actually black garlic and water. Like it's really black. I still need to look this up, but I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna use about. A teaspoon roughly of that in this. And then, that's looking good actually. I can probably go ahead and add my peppers in here to get them nice and sauteed at this time. Oh, it smells amazing. I almost want to say that black garlic is a little sweeter, maybe. It just has a nice fragrance to it. Um, here we go. Just gonna add this and go ahead and move these around a bit just to get them nice and soft and sauteed a bit. Um, the celery, however, I am not going to, the celery I'm not going to uh, saute. I usually do, but I'm not going to this time. I'm gonna just let them kind of cook for a little bit, uh, maybe about a minute before adding the rest of the cabbage roll filling. 
All right, I got to show you guys what I'm doing here. Um, the cabbage is about done. I've had it right over here on the stovetop. I know, wow, I'm actually using my stovetop. You could do this in the power pressure cooker, cooker, but I have the mixture going in there for these cabbage rolls. As this steams, now be very careful. Um, it not only turns a really pretty color, but because we took the end off the core for the most part, these leaves are peeling off super easy. And so I'm just gonna set them here until, well, I'm gonna let this one, this go maybe just a little, oh, that one came off nice, cool. Just a little bit longer here. Um, yeah, that one's still a little hard, so I'm gonna just let that go a little longer, but this is awesome. This is gonna be fun to wrap these. All right, this looks perfect. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and turn the heat off because I'm just gonna use this as a mixing bowl as I add my one, a half a cup of rice and about a cup, half cup of celery. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a nice mix. Okay, now this is going to seem weird because now I'm going to add the meat. And the meat is actually going to be not cooked. It's raw because it's going to cook when we steam it in this container. I'm actually going to go ahead and add a little bit more of that rice. <laughs> Just because it looks a little thin. So. All right, now it's time to add a half a pound of the pork sausage. I just use traditional, no season in it, except just regular pork sausage. Um, if you want to get fancy, you can go ahead and use, I don't know, what do they got? Breakfast, they've got sweet Italian, I don't know. But for this recipe, we're just going to use straight up pork and a half a pound of ground beef. And I'm going to go ahead and use my, the 80-20 because I love that stuff. We're gonna go ahead and put that in. Now, I'm gonna mix it up real good because this is what's going in to the cabbage roll. See, these are the cabbage roll filling. Um, before it's ready to go in that cabbage, I actually have to put some salt and pepper and you wanna add your parsley. I'm gonna use dried parsley for this recipe. Here's the mixture. I went ahead and added parsley, salt, and pepper. It's all ready to go. I just need to bring the cabbage over. I'm actually having a lot of fun taking the cabbage off of the uh, roll, off of the, what is this, the head? It's really super easy after you uh, boil it. And if you have a couple pieces that are, you know, they're just not, uh, they're ripped or torn or something and not perfect for your wrap. Um, save two because we're going to actually put a couple on the bottom of the pot as we make it. And I'm actually going to use my power pressure cooker to make these. So here we go. Now you may want to let this cool a little. <laughs> this is really hot. Um, but this is basically the center of that cabbage. Um, it took a good maybe 10 minutes boiling after I took the top leaves off and while I was mixing the mixture. I'm going to go ahead and open these up. I'm not going to use these for the wrap, especially these smaller pieces, although you could make little miniature cabbage rolls. That might be yummy, but um, I'm going to take these and actually line the bottom of my pressure cooker uh, with these. And first I'm going to put, put these down in the pot and then I'm going to put uh, salt and pepper on them just for some seasoning. Uh, nothing goes to waste. Actually, maybe I'll put this one in too because I love cabbage and it's so good for you. I'm going to go ahead and lay these as kind of like a little blanket on the bottom. This is going to be so yummy. So nothing goes to waste. These are all gonna go on the bottom. And then, I mean, I don't wanna put too much because I wanna save room for the uh, wraps to go, or the rolls to go in. Now I'm gonna basically take some 
salt and pepper and put that on there before I start layering with the cabbage rolls. All right, wish me luck. I have never made these by myself before. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the stem here, whatever you wanna call that, the hard part. I'm gonna go in my compost. Um, maybe I steam these a little long because it's kind of falling apart, but that's okay. I'm now gonna take the filling. Look how pretty. And make these nice. Um, and basically, I'm gonna wrap these or roll these. Now they showed it kind of like when you do my egg roll, I kind of do this and this, and then this, and then this is gonna go right into the pot on top of those other cabbages. All right, I'm getting really excited now. This is gonna be, this is working out. I'm so excited. First time I've ever made these and they seem to be going together well. So I have, um, basically, I think this rest, what I, I had, this came up to about 10 fairly good size uh, cabbage rolls. Now, before I put the tomato puree on top, um, I'm gonna actually put some apples that I diced up. Uh, the recipe that I found on the internet called for Granny Smith, but I don't have any Granny Smith right now, so I'm basically using a sweet um, apple. This would taste really good, actually, I think, with the tomatoes and everything. So it's just gonna add some flavoring, and well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the tomato puree um, to put on top before I close this up and start cooking okay, it. Okay, so are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Tomato puree is basically stewed tomatoes or canned tomatoes set in your processor or your blender and basically, basically puree it, blend it. So it's almost like a milkshake. And once you got all the chunks out of it, I love this Ninja Blender. I do salsa in this too. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this on top of the cabbage rolls. Here they are. Just put this on top like that. Um, you could add salt and pepper if you're salt to it if you want, but I think there's enough salt in the meat and the mixture and everything. So here it is. Now, this is where if you're using an Instapot, be sure you follow your manufactured directions for meats because remember we have raw meat in there. Now mine, I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on. Make sure it's set to the right setting. And for this, I'm gonna actually use the meat setting only at, we're gonna up it to 30 minutes because I have sausage in there. And that's it, it's gonna cook now. And we'll leave it be. All right, here they are, they smell really good. I'll go ahead and cut into it. The cabbage cooked nice. Looks like the middle is done nicely. Ooh, look at that, that looks so yummy. Mm. Very tasty. I can actually taste a lot of the like, the red pepper really tastes nice. The rice is seasoned good with it, I think. It's good. There it is. It was easy and time to enjoy. Thanks for checking out my recipe today. I hope you will click over to my website where you'll find a printable recipe and photos and other creative living ideas. Hope to see you there.